Jack Reacher, parents deceased. One brother Joe owed about two years. Retired Army, commanded the 110th Special Investigations Unit of the military police. Took out a few men in the course of your duties. All rude good kills. What if I'm thinking I'm sitting across from a man who doesn't mind killing and who has the knowledge and training to murder someone and cover it up? You'd be right. But not this murder. Three men dropped this body. Enlighten me. Shooter was someone who knows firearms well. Bullets were small caliber, 9mm, 95 grain, that's subsonic. A silencer was used. He also knew enough to pick up his brass. This wasn't a first timer. This was someone who knew how to conduct a quiet, effective kill. Okay, go on. You're also looking for a psycho who'd beat up a body post mortem. Someone completely unhinged. Totally different profile from your professional shooter. Something wrong? No. You said there were three. Your psycho isn't suddenly going to be rational enough to know he has to hide the body, and your meticulous shooter isn't going to do a sloppy job with roadside cardboard. Well, the third guy's so worried about getting out of there, he grabs some nearby debris and just lays it across the corpse. You said the victim was big, so most likely his feet were sticking out, and that's how he got spotted. Tall people never have enough room for their feet. Interesting theory. But you still match the description of someone seen walking the highway earlier today near where the body was found. Well, that's because it was me. I got off the bus from Tampa and walked to town. Greyhound doesn't have a stop in Margrave. I never said it did. You just said you got off in Margrave. I asked the driver to do me a favor. Why? On account of Blind Blake. Okay, who's that? Blue singer. Legend has it he died in Margrave a long time ago. I figured I'd learn a bit about him. I like music. So you have no home, no phone. You get on a bus in Tampa with $212, a toothbrush, and a French war medal, and travel over 500 miles to read up on a dead blues musician. That sum up your past 24 hours. No. I also went to a diner, ordered peach pie, and never got to eat it because I was arrested for murder. OK. Medical examiner puts the victim's time of death at around midnight last night. This morning. It's last night until 11.59 and 59 seconds, and then it becomes this morning. In an investigation, details matter. 12 a.m. this morning is the time of death. If I can confirm you are on a Greyhound bus at that time, you're cleared. Until then, you're in the holding cell. We're running down a phone number found in the dead guy's shoe. It was on a scrap of paper with the word pluribus written on it. Want to clear that up, too, before you let you go. You know anything about that? It means I'm going to be here for a while. Phone companies are slow responding to warrants. Too bad. Law says we need a warrant. Come on, you're in the home. 